Annex City with the OCR report. They think I'm looking at them, but I'm not. I'm actually looking at me right now, but I will look at them. There we are, Chris Roglowski volunteering as always, leading the charge of judges. Getting final preparations here. I know it's going to be a little hard to hear me right now. Uh, you can see we've got our athletes setting up and getting ready. There is some severe power output in this lineup. Alright Chris, how many no reps are we getting? Hopefully none. These better be on their game. There you go. So we are getting up where they're going to have the national anthem. Yancey right now is taking the athletes. Hey! Who, who are you picking for today? A little biased. Got to go with my husband, Kevin Gray. There we go. <laughs> So now, athletes are all heading out, they're going to set their bikes. David Magida looking ready. Again, if you've not seen DECA before and you're not familiar with DECA Strong, what we have here is we essentially have 10 fitness stations. We're going to start with 30 reverse lunges, 500 meters on the rower, 20 box overs, 25 med ball sit-ups, 500 meter on the Concept 2 rower. This is just like the events we have in the gyms. Similar setup. Maybe a little bit different just do, for the dude, the actual setup of how you get to the uh, different stations, different zones. We got the 100 meter farmer's carry, 60 pounds for the men. And right now, as you can see, they are dealing with adjusting their assault bikes. Now these assault bikes positioning is done by their seating. So the faster their time is a better position they'll have. So where you'll see somebody like a Ryan Corning maybe have a great, great position due to his fast times. A little chance to roll out. There's Rich Ryan, your DECA Fit World Champion from yesterday. You're going to see a lot of these guys. Well, maybe not a lot, but you're going to see some of them go sub 20. Uh, again, Ryan Geiger. Um, say, hold on, hold on. Just, hold on. Paul says he's going to be around 25. That's a big man back here, Van Hoff. Van Hoff, he's going to be bit, going to be fast. So carry on after the bike. Bubbles the Clown, we know he's always fast on that bike. After that, we got dead ball over the shoulders, 60 pounds. Uh, obviously, we're gonna. Megita again complaining about his bike all the time. 60 pounds over the shoulders, 20 reps on that. Hundred meters on the tank, push pull. We've got sixty pound dumbbells in the tank to try to give it a little more traction on the ground. And then we've got the classic Ram burpees, forty four pounds for the men, twenty two for the women. We will as well be having women's coverage coming directly after the men's, but you will see all the men finish. That extra bird there was not calibrated in the weight. So I want to again thank you all for joining us this early in the morning. It is a bit different from yesterday, but today we're early. So again, if you've got any comments, if someone you want to root for, someone you want to shout out, let us know, put it in the comments. I'll do my best to read it and get uh, keep involved with you, but I know that the action is going to be fast and furious here and very hard to keep track of the comments with the way things will be moving. Um, we'll be joined by Jack Bauer. He's just helping them sort out a few details. But you can just see some of these incredible athletes here. Yancey giving some final instructions. Let's see if we can get in. Got our 
volunteers all ready to go. Ryan Corning is a beast on the assault bike. Ryan Corning's a beast on everything. Hey Ryan, getting some shout outs on here. You want to say anything to anybody on the yeah, live stream? Say hi to my family, supporting me. Hi to everybody back home in Jacksonville, getting close fitness. Thanks for your support. There we go. He's dialed in and ready. <clears throat> After our strong coverage today as well, we will be covering the deck a mile later on. <clears throat> You're gonna see. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of commentating and my voice is a little bit gone. I'm gonna do my best. Try to keep that rudeness to a minimum. the crowd has turned out to watch this I'm just gonna do my best to stay out of the way on this one this is gonna be ridiculous Chris last minute predictions do what last minute predictions uh, last minute predictions I hope my athlete wins now I'm judging somebody oh, <laughs> that's the that's that's a cop out Chris pleading the fifth <laughs> Joe DeSena sighting here, he's ready to go. Decking at his first Decker. I'm expecting to see Ryan Kent, David Megida, Rich Ryan, and Ryland Steg take this out fast on the lunges. There we go, our man Jack Bowers joining us. Took a while, had to fill in some info for Yancey. All right, now I was just saying, I'm expecting to see Ryland, Ryan, uh, Ryan Kent, David Nguida, and Rich Ryan take these lunges out fast. I would think they'd want to get the start ahead. Yep. And then you got some guys who are planning to just make their big move on the bike. I think uh, if you listen to Rich Ryan on his podcast where you, with uh, Ryan Corning, he needs to redline all the way while Ryan, as a more powerful athlete, as some of the non-athletes from yesterday are, I think that they're gonna they're gonna wait till the bike to make their move. These guys are gonna go off fast. So this back corner. Here we go, here we go. One more time, number twelve, host of the Sports and Science Recovery Podcast, co-founder of Own It Coaching. Let's welcome Justin Watling Schiffer. And coming out qualifies the eleventh fastest second strong time of the year. Let's welcome Bradley Thornton. And a basketball player, golfer from Delaware with a 10th fastest deck of strong seat time. Let's welcome Christopher Bonhoff. And gym owner and Ironman competitor from San Antonio, Texas. Welcome Sean Sykes. Age group winner of your 2021 North American American Regional Championship, Adam Hawes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, and coming, former DECA Fit and DECA Mile record holder, won the DECA Fit World Jack, Championship Jack, seeing what the athletes yesterday. done and yesterday, who's your predictions for today? I think we saw, we're going to see a, red, a fresh Ryan Corning and as confident as Ryan Kent and Riley and Rich Ryan are after yesterday's performance. The man's the number one seed for a reason, Ryan Corning, my pick. I agree. I'm with you. I do actually think we're going to see a really good push from Ryland Shag today. Yeah, I think he's looking better than he did yesterday. He's looking ready, and I don't think he'll gas out. It's a long course, also compared to your normal deck of strong setup. I think that that's going to play into the runners. Uh, you do their benefit right there, and we'll see a little bit of thing of Exactly. You think about a guy like Corning, he's going to have to go around yep. some of these, not the yep. quick bang, bang, bang. And I mean, those four or five steps can yep. make the difference. A lot of hype about Ryan Geiger in the back row with the hat on. Uh, uh, we don't know a whole lot about him besides he was a cyclist. You know the air bike's going to be a different speaker. There he is right there in the purple shirt. A lot of hype about him. We're looking at like probably a sub-25 bike out of him by a lot of guys. Yeah, that's what they're saying. We'll see how it's happening. Here we go. Here's some guy. Some guy got in the way of the live stream. What the hell is he doing here? Somebody get him out of the way. Call, call, call some security. And hill the deck of fit mile and deck of all the time. Records at some point in the past year. He took second place yesterday in the Cup of Fit. Let's make some noise for Ryan Kidd! Also, at UPS, Ryan will have the first season. I'm going to get lots of this. I'll be reading about it. It is no time. Are you ready? For these lunches, we're looking like... Jack yes, Gorris is in the pitch point though. There, he's got to uh, yeah, get out of the way. Yeah, yeah, wrapping into your rower is going to be very key. You don't want to lose a couple seconds. Here's something I worry for. I'm going to Von Hoff, tall basketball player, getting into the rower. They don't have this one thing to just the right. He's got the yeah. 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 struggle. We're all level 50 on the same day. In a cigarette to cover the global fitness test of Get the Strong. It's crazy, guys, guys like Wikita and Ken for use of them looking bigger, they look small on the start line. There you go, oh, Kent oh, off, everybody. Shadag a little behind. Rear coming off. They're gonna look each other in the eye while they're racing. You know, every single person. This is crazy. Here we go, we're gonna try to get some pace. 130 from Bubble. 140 from Mickey. 135 from Kent. 135. 137. We are right in the danger zone here, but this is the split. 143 is 138 from the big man. 130 from Shadeg. 133 from Geiger. Look at how effortless Ryan's looking over there. Yeah. Rich, he knows what he's doing. He won a world title yesterday. As smooth as he be on the rower, I'm very impressed with Ryland right now. Ryland was a little slower on the lunges too, so he might be trying to make up yeah, some time. But, but we're talking two seconds of separation at this point by, between everybody. I'll check in on uh, Kevin. Yep. Yep. We've got 320 for your 347, 337 for Rich, 334. It's almost a waste of time to tell you who's in front because it's going to change moment to moment. So I'm very surprised to see this. Ryan Corning is the slowest rower out of everybody out there. He's pulling a 146, 147. I think that his strategy, save it for the second half on that air bike, he's going to be a little bit fresher going into there. But I was very surprised to see that. They're all going to be jumping off in two seconds. Here we go. Ryan Schnick is up. Ryan Schnick make up a lot of ground on that. Ryan Kent's up. Rich Ryan. 
If this looks chaotic, it's because it is. Oh. And you see, this is the first time they have to choose a different box. Ryan Corning had to go all the way on the right, yeah. starting on the left. And Adam Hawes there getting some low yep. reps in the beginning. Rich Ryan looking smooth. Definitely continuing his form from yesterday. Rich Ryan might be the first one off of this. Ryan Kent's looking quick also, but those guys. Ryland is off. Ryland's off. Ryland's off. Ryan Kent's off. Look at that transition, Rich with a fantastic transition right there. Oh, right, Ryland Schnake lost the ball. Bubbles already in the pain cave. Let's go, Kevin! I think Let's you're going to see Kevin. Ryan Kent come off these first and get to the yeah. skier first, and then we know Ryan can lay it down on the skier. Bubbles is a little slow. We want to get out of there. Yeah. Ryan missed the rep. He had to go back. He went for 20, not 25. Let's go, Rich. Rich Let's Ryan go, first Rich. onto the skier. Ryan Kent right behind him. Expect times. Rich Ryan and Ryan Kent opened up a seven second lead on the rest of the field. Right there. The Rich Ryan. He made up to the ground there because Ryan Kent with 20 sit-ups instead of 25. He had to go back. Ryland Schnegg made up some ground, so we expect to see. I would think Ryan Kent will probably be the first off the skier. Joe just said a little commentary for the live stream. What do you think? I think Ryan screwed up on the uh, on the crunches there. He got up too soon. He had to get back down, right? He missed five reps. It's hard yeah. because everything's 20, 20, 20, and then you got the 125 yeah. for the set. 143 for Geiger. 143 pace for Ryan Geiger. Yeah. If Ryan Geiger gets to that bike ahead, we are in for a lot of trouble. Jack Bauer diving in, getting everybody's times. Two seventy. I'll check it out. Uh, yeah. Adam Hawes digging deep. Bubble down to 155 pace. Let's go, Kevin. Kent is definitely going to leave it first. Yeah. He's wrong. There he goes. Kent's off. Kent's a He's gone. He needs to come around. Rich Ryan right behind him. Ryan picking that up and hauling. We're going to stay with our leaders here. Two taps. Make sure they do it. Both feet cross the line. There it is. Two taps. There we go. Ryland Stegg in third. Oh, what a and then the mass of humanity. Here's what we're waiting for, though. The air bike. It's coming next. It's like walking up to death row. You know that that's coming. And they're just going to have to embrace it. Kevin Gregory's going to take these for a roll like he's going for Sunday walk. Keep going, Rich. Keep going, Rich. Ryan Kent, great separation. That referee better get out of the way or he's going to yeah. get over in a second. There we go. This Ryan's got it, right? Uh. <laughs> Ryan Kent first off and on the bike. Ryan puts up some great bike times. Jack, what do you think? We're going to 30 seconds. 20, all right, 621, 623. I'll get the split on him. Both Ryan, Rich Ryan had a better, uh, or fewer issues getting onto the bike. I think Kent is moving better. Ryland in third. Look at this. There you go. Your top three are separating themselves now. And I expect a mass coming. Here comes the wave. Oh, man. The Ryan, Ryan Corning in last place heading into it. This is Let's get over here. Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ryan Kent pushing hard. This is where we're going to see some crazy moves. We're not going to be able to get in there, but it won't be long. Three seconds so far. Kent, look, look at, at Ryan Corning right there. Holy Ryan Corning is going to blow that bike up. Oh my God. He's going to move. Trying to get both these in here just so we can see it. That is insanity. And he usually dies out for the last five. Rich Ryan, about 10 seconds behind Kent at this point. I think Ryan Corey's going to be the next guy off. That was unbelievable. 
But see what he's done his te technique. He usually hammers the first bit and then slows Rich down. Rich Ryan is off second place. That's both huge for Rich. Ryan There's Corning. Third overtakes place. Shadag. Third place. Trying to find yeah. a safe spot to be. And there's the pack. Ryan, Ryan Geiger, fourth, fifth right there. Ryan Kent is a commanding lead though at the moment. And Ryan Kent has, I think, dodged the bullet. Yeah. Ryan Kent is done. He's heading out like, through the maze of humanity. Yeah. We're going to stick with Ryan Kent. Here he goes. He's got, who's going to come up? Will Rich Ryan maintain? He looked like he was going well. Rich Ryan coming now, second. Ryan Corning right behind him. It doesn't have the run that high that Rich does. Look at the difference the transitions make. They left at the same, you guys got a same exact time. And Rich probably touched the slide three or four seconds ahead of him because of a little bit of a run. Yeah, Kent's got almost a there, like a full. Ryan, look at him moving with that thing. He's getting it back in the footy. We're going to come out here to get a better view. Get the whole screen down here. When he burpees till the end afterwards. Oh my god. Look at Rich is hauling. He's pushing everything he's got. It looks like Geiger has maybe run out of gas here. It looks like he put everything he had into that bike and it's slowing. Oh, and the slow transition with the straps. Yeah. That's just being unfamiliar. Look at Shadag. Look at Shadag pushing past Megita. Let's go! This is your one-two from your DECA Fit World Championship yesterday. Rich Ryan, Ryan Kent, but it is reversed. Look at that, Ryan Kent cheering, cheering Rich him on. on. Ryan using Rich Ryan I as a motivator. I think having the best sled out of anybody in this field, but I'm seeing yanking him back. Now, positionally, Rich is in the best position compared to Ryan Corning, who I was surprised didn't just come up real quick to take the sled next to him to minimize his transition time in the air. Especially with where he was doing, like, almost a walk. Yes. Wait. Almost a walk compared to Rich Ryan. Ryan, Ryan is in the mid 40s, Ryan Corning, uh, when it comes to burpees, though. So he might have a 10 second deficit. As good as Rich is, that is not the man you want on you at the last obstacle. Okay, here we go. All right, Ryan Kent coming in. 956. He might get, get out of his way. We'll go over here. Count is for one. One. I'm watching. Two. That's three. How's our clock? 10-17. Ten, ten, he might break. This is, this is definitely a new record. And then some. And on a course. Ryan Schrader. What a move. Burpee off. Right there. Ryan Corning. We're going to get everybody in the stream. Ryan Kent is on his way to what should be a new Ryan. record. I'm telling you, this guy's going to make up ground. Ryan Look Kennedy. at him go. I've got my, I think, I think Corning's getting second. Look at how fast he's going on this. He's going to the point where he's almost off of control. Fifth, David McGee in sixth, coming in. Ryan Canton, it's 10.54. The old record is 11.30. I think he's got it. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Ryan kept pushing. And Ryan Corning coming on strong. I think he has passed Rich Ryan and Ryland Stagg. Ryan Kent, Ryan, yeah, get across that line, 11 10, unofficially a new record. Now, battle for second. Look at this battle. That's right, Ryland Shadag, and Ryan Corning is right in it. Go! I think Ryan Corning is fast. Ryan Corning, oh my god! That's a photo finish! Rich in third, Ryan Corning set. That was so close. That could come down to a timing sense where they went exactly. right across the oh. line. Ryland Shadag in fourth. Megita and oh Bubbles still God. going head to head here. This Every position good. counts. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> David Megita! He came in at sixth and finished his fifth. Pack is now coming in here. Unbelievable. Every oh one of these my guys. God. <laughs> that was insanity. I mean, we still don't really know. No, we don't no. Actually, no. We know that Ryan Kent set a new record by about yeah. 20 we seconds. Don't. That's all we know at this point. 
Look, it, look at the carnage. Let, let's take a look at their faces. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna try to stay out of the way of the other guys coming in. But this is a literal train wreck. Ken crossed the line, shrugging his shoulders. He had another 30 seconds in him. All right, let's give these guys their due. Here we go. Geiger coming Ryan across Geiger. the line. 12.44. And again, he's hobbling a bit. I'm not sure if there may be a little leg injury going there. Who do we got next? Let's not give these guys their justice. They have put it out there. Adam Hall is cranking away at these. Von Hoff down to a step up. There we go. Bradley. Justin and Adam. Or it's just, I think, Bradley. 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 Chris Von Hoff, the taller athlete. These ramp burpees at the end. That's, that's the tough part. Still a very respectable time. What time are we at for these guys, Jack? 13 20. 13 20 that's still awesome and this course was not a fast course no, no. not set up for speed at all set up for uh, viewing there we go across the line or bradley uh 13 36 13 36 Yancey, was it entertaining? What is it? What is it? What is it? Controversy. Yeah. Another one. Because we staggered the start. Yeah. That's we got to go tip time here. We have to go tip time here. So, yeah. so six athletes were forced to cross that start line. Slightly different time. Yeah. So I know second, third were ridiculously close. The Rich and Shadag, is that who it was? Uh, Ryan no, Corning. Rich and Ryan Corning. Right, Rich and Ryan Corning. I will think go they were both at the here. front. But if one of them got a slight delay, yeah, it, it, it's it's it's, it's that, gonna be it's gonna be chip time here. There was one point in the race between uh, box jumps and rower where Ryan Corning had to go all the way across and Rich went straight, and that right there is a difference. Possibly. Deck is on eleven, ladies and gentlemen. Deck of dead. That's called a cuddle cuddle. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get Mr. Kent unofficially a record. Yeah. On a course that did not look fast, that did not yeah, did I've not dial in for speed, and you I'll smashed be honest, it. I've never, in all my years, I've never felt that good in a race. And I've done some workouts where I've done workouts in the morning, and then come back in the afternoon, and felt better. And that was kind of my mindset coming in here. I knew I, there would be some fatigue, but my body knew what it that pain felt like after yesterday, and I really didn't feel that bad until like the burpees there at the end. It all kind of hit me. But I've, I've waited my whole life to, to become a world champion. And uh, finally, I did it. You got one more later today, big man. Go get him. Congratulations. Awesome job. Ryan. What a comeback. I mean. You looked going at into that tank, you looked like you were done. You looked like you maybe had spent everything you had. And then you came into those burpees and just floored it. Made up a ton of ground. How were you feeling? Did you think you still had it in you at the end there? I was going to my team, my gym. I went into the first I told you that I was closing in on the other two guys. I was like, hey, hey, hey. So I was trying to go deep. I do you know yet if you came second or third? It was so close, we could not tell. And and you can't tell because it's chip time if you cross the start line at the same time, so we have no idea yet. Alright, congratulations. Good job. Alright, Jack and I are going to hustle back. It's time for the women to go. I am blown away. <laughs> are they? That was a decent race. Yeah, you know, it was alright. It was kind of close. You know, it, I, I wish we had the camera on Yancey and Joe DeSena at the finish line. <laughs> what just happened? Alright, I think we might have to put a little hustle on here. Too fast, Jack. You're going too fast. All right, we have made it in time. 
it's going to be awful hard to top that race, but I think it can be done. All right. Let's see if we got some intros done yet. You want to see if they've done the intros and everything yet? Yeah. I think we might have been calling Michaela Short the wrong person. Okay, we'll go, we'll go right up and ask her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, starting on the left, Taylor Williamson. She is a teammate with Rich Froning at the CrossFit Games on the, uh, the team competition. She's won the past two years. She's fresh. That is a dangerous person to race like this. The problem, I would say again, inexperienced. Out there. Yeah. Vivian, how you feeling this morning? <laughs> Go get him, Vivian. We are just moments away from our. Second race of the day. Bridget Brown and Alondra. All right, ladies. I don't know if you saw the finish there, but that was one of the most exciting races we've ever seen. We still don't know who came second and third because it was that close across the line. So let's see the same thing. Yancey giving some last minute instructions. Heather White there, Lunder Greenlee, Tara Jackson, your 2022 DECA Fit World Champion yesterday. If you have not seen it, check it out on OCR Report YouTube. It was a hell of a race. All right, now we need a better song. This is a terrible song. Now these women, I'm not sure yet if they've gone to adjust their bikes. I think that's where they're going now, so we got a little time. Referees getting prepared, and now they know what they're in for after seeing that. A quick Jack Gorris pop in here. Jack, what did you think of the last race? It was quicker. <laughs> My car can actually it. go faster, so... That's right. It was not yeah. quite... What kind of car do you have? Uh, Subaru. I live in Colorado. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah. Subaru's all right. I'm all right with some Subarus. All right. We're going to make a little trip over here. Stop in with our favorite here. Hold on. All right. Bethany McChesney, all right, Olivia Vokes, Bethany, your 2022 team relay champion. <laughs> all right, Bethany, who, who, who do you got for this? Oh, no, I have no idea. What do you mean uh, you have okay. no idea? This is what we do. Heather White. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just Heather White, the five. completely unbiased <laughs> opinion of Bethany McChesney. Yeah, that's all. I'm just, I'm Heather just White, Tara Jackson, completely biased. unbiased. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see yeah. the men's finish? Yeah. I don't even know who won, who got second yet. Nobody knows yet. They got to go oh, okay. from timing chips. It was that close. They crossed the line together. I hope one reached their hand out. It, yeah. It's, well, was it's, it on their wrist? I think it's on their wrist. Okay. But it's, it, I don't know. It was a complete collapse across the line between yeah. uh, Rich Ryan and Ryan right. Corning. We don't know. We don't know yet. They may, they may know at the scoring yeah. booth, but they definitely but have to go to chip. Say. Because it is, it's not gun time as well as chip time because there's a back row of people. So it's cross that mat, cross that mat. So yeah. it's a, but what we do know is unofficially Ryan Kent set a world record on what should be a slow course. Wow. Right. Ryan That's Kent, again, your DECA strong 2022 world champion. Looks like we got a little conversation here. We'll catch up with Jack. And as just like with the men, the ladies are getting their bikes set. This is super important because we don't want this championship to come down to who can adjust their bike fastest or who gets a good call on a bike. We want it to come down to pure racing like the last one did. We're gonna go in the bikes. No worries, no worries. So here we go, they're getting a bit of a test in. I know I've talked to some of the ladies, some of the ladies from yesterday, Jack, and they're definitely, you can see a little bit of fatigue in the women run yesterday compared to, as you said, someone like Taylor Williamson, who has got, unlimited power and coming in fresh. 
and we saw how much of a difference the bike made in the men's race. It brought Ryan Corning from basically last place or right leading up the, the backpack into podium position in the course of one zone. That might happen again. And it did, on the you right. it, it seemed like the most important stations ended up being the bike and the burpees. Yes. You know, Ryan Corning making the burpees. It's not, it, yeah. some people kind of seem to think when you get to the burpees, it's like, okay, whoever's there, you're burping at the same pace. But we yeah. showed how much ground can be made up. Yep. I'm looking right now though, and again, Taylor looks good. Yep. Or Taylor, Tara Jackson. So if we're, if we're looking down the row in the back, we've got Bridget Brown, Taylor Williams from talking to a couple of officials, Jillian Ford, Jessica Petro, and Vivian Fudo. That, that's that's your line. It was Corning, right? We don't know. No, if they start when they you gotta take the start line too. Yancey giving those instructions. They would know these rules, but the problem is, race brain sets in, and you've got to be reminded. You have to have this stuff going through your head. You've, also, you, you've also never faced twelve women at the same time. And that's a big, like maybe two, maybe three at a time at most of the local gyms. This is a different setup compared to what they're used to. And what did you think about that? Like that's the first time, obviously, twelve men all together. It was chaos. It was very entertaining, yep. but I also imagine it was a little bit frustrating. I, I personally think that uh, <laughs> as frustrating as it was, all that adrenaline and just having so many different skill sets at once, it led everybody to fast times. We were 100% going to see a new record in this race. And, and yeah, you, I would not, I, I think I even said before we started, this is not a course that someone's going to break a record on. Huh? We were wrong. We were way wrong. Yeah. We were wrong. I think throughout the day, each group, you're going to see new records in there. It's, it's, it's Let's listen to yes. veteran there people with experience just dialing in every little rule okay I need this 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 just to be exact uh, I wish they had this format every week <laughs> so I think Yancey wishes they had this format every week yeah, I thought my watch was broken during the men's race I was like they're reaching it right now it's unreal 
And I mean, you think about that. That was not a perfect race from Ryan King. No. He actually had 20 sit-ups, dropped the ball, thought he was done, had to go back, do yeah. five more. There were stumbles, there were staggers, there were struggles to find machines. It, and if anybody knows how many sit-ups there are during it's Ryan Kent, he's practiced as much as anybody. So that's just proof race brain exists no matter how confident you are, even if you're the, the new record holder in the champion. And I think not just race brain in that case, because that's pretty early on. It's a matter of, like you see, that sea of competition now yep. so close together. I don't think a lot of these guys, other than maybe at the start of a Spartan race when there's a big mob, are used to that shoulder to shoulder. No. Nope. And like you said with the rowers, face, face to face pushing it. The only thing that I think would be even cooler is if they could see each other's score while they were rowing. Live? Yeah, yeah. Oh. We kind of like to flip over them just to give statuses. Exactly. I think we'll hit that side for safety yep. reasons here. Jack, try to stay safe on this one. Oh, Yancey lining them up. We see Tara in front. We see Alundra Greenlee in front. They're going to do call-ups in a second. So we'll well, they're, they're lining them up. Oh, okay. Yep. Front and back. And this is according as well to see the time, but it is chip time, so no matter when they cross the line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? The and we do, have, are you we do have an aid for a hearing impaired athlete. So she's there uh, to make sure that she's able to hear the start, be able to get going. I don't think it's going to get in her way. <laughs> no. The other athlete. They're about to put it down right here, right now. This is the World Championship of Zeka Strong. Yancy. Yancy. All right, Jack, who comes off the lunges first? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get the That's the thing, we don't have a whole lot of full videos. A lot of the women, I, I reached out to you asking what their splits were. They don't have concrete data on every single uh, zone, All so right. it's going to be a mystery, to be honest. All right, I want to start right. here. As we get Tara Jackson, your deck of fit champion. Calm, calm leaning there, relaxing. And one of only three women to qualify for all three distances in the DECA World Championship. Former soccer player of Oklahoma State. Let's welcome Bridget Brown! She won her age group division at the High Rocks World Championship earlier this year. We'll compete the DECA, DECA mile later. Let's welcome Heather White! And your former DECA Strong World Record holder, teammate Rich Boning on Team CrossFit Mayhem, two-time world champion in the team's division of the CrossFit Games, make some noise for Taylor Williamson! Also qualified in the DECA Mile and will be racing later, let's welcome Katie Perez! And host of the Jillian Talks Check Podcast, let's welcome Jillian Ford! And mother of two with the success in the High Rocks double, let's make some noise for Sherry Adams! And a personal trainer and medical trainer, put your hands together for Jessica Petro! And your one of only other three women to qualify all three distances, Fourth at the 2022 High Rocks World Championship and first at the Deck of Fit, New Jersey. Let's welcome Alondra Greenlee. And uh, we'll also complete the Deck of Mile later. Finished the Deck of Fit Elite Podium multiple times this year. Qualified 2016 trials for the swimming and the 100 breaststroke and 200 IM. Make some noise for Vivian Tafudo. And your current DECA Strong record holder, only women to have two top times in all three DECA distances. Let's make some noise for Tara Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your DECA Strong Elite Women's Field. Make some noise. We are one of the way for taking the course. Referees, are you ready? Athletes, are you ready? Let's get this party started. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the celebration of fitness. And we are having a party today. Again, we are going to stay out of the way.
partly for our own safety, partly just to not get in the way. Right. Again, we were saying Tara looks calm and relaxed. I think that would pay off for her, but there's a lot of veteran presence in there. I don't see much from the way of nerves from any of them. No. I just talked to Brian Kent and he said that having a little bit of a run he felt, helped him out. So I think you're going to see the same thing. Yesterday's competitors will be out of it. We're off. Let's get it, Lodra! Gotta watch those jumping lunges. Let's go, ladies! I would say Taylor's got the quickest lunges so far. She's got to get up a little more. There's Yancey telling her. Yeah. Heather White riding that line on that jump lunge. Maybe it's getting the whole hand in there. Head over the roar, see who's first off. Heather White, Bridget Brown in a mob, but Heather White actually the first to the roar. A bit of a surprise there. 33, 34 seconds in the lunges. That's almost identical to what you saw in the men's field for every single athlete. And I gotta say, I'm like I said, oh, Heather fidget, fidgeting with her straps there a little bit. That might cost her. Bridget Brown going to 150. 136 right here. Sherry's going to 136, 139. I'll go to the other side. Yeah. We're gonna stick with Sherry a little bit right here because she is pulling so fast. Sub 140 pace. Tara Jackson around the 144 marker, down to 142. 150 meters, 146, she's about two, 10 meters behind Tara Jackson. Taylor Williamson looking like she's pacing herself and just going smooth and slow, getting easy. Jillian Ford, again, with like a pause in her row. Now it's very interesting. Taylor Williamson, who is probably the strongest athlete in the field with her crossfit background, she is doing what Ryan Corning did having the slowest row out of anybody. I wonder if that's kind of to save up some energy and really hammer it on the bike. She knows she might be able to gain or lose four or five seconds here, but might make up 10 or 15 later on on the bike if it's a longer station. I wonder if that's her strategy. But most of the women are in the mid to upper 140s, 146, 148. Now look at this technique from Jillian Ford. She is Very pausing, long. pausing at the top of her stroke and literally breathing almost like a, a calming, relaxing move. Exactly, they're gonna be hopping off. They're a couple of them are in the 420, 430 meters, so within 15 seconds, they're going to be going back up. It's looking like we're going to see Sherry in first place hopping off of this, followed closely by uh, Tara Jackson. Tara, Tara taking as well. Tara taking a pace of much higher stroke rate. Oh yeah, she's there. She's going. She's finishing up. So Sherry, then Tara. I think Alondra Greenlee, and then the mob. Very close on on her feet. There you go. They had to get a little separation. It was almost a collision of sorts. But again, this is the warm up. This is the appetizer. We're getting to the main course in a minute. The best part, they're going to look each other in the eyes while they're going all out on the ski erg in a second because they're facing each other. Tara is picking up the pace now. Uh, Bridget Brown, first place. Katie Ferris, second place. Jillian Ford, third. Vivian made up ground there. I was told that Jillian Ford is, a, is just like Kevin Gregory, fantastic skier. So she might be first. Let's see if we can get around and take her shot. Got a 153, a 202 from Bridget. Jillian, again, very much using some strategy. Two hard pulls, one easy. Two hard pulls and a rest. 
Two hard pulls and a rest. Very different. She's the fastest, Alondra's second. Yep. But look at the energy conservation. Right there. Two hard pulls, one rest. All very thinking all the way through. 152. 206. Her face, 185 meters. Taylor with the 201. Round of 157 pace for Tara Jackson, 228. 235, she's right behind Taylor. We're about halfway through the yeah. skier, Jack. And again, some of the ones I expected to pull a little faster on this, maybe are not. Yeah. And I think this is coming down to, again, a lot like a lot of and men, saving for that bike. Save for that bike. Ryan Corning came off the last place. And then made a move. That's where these happen. Alundra Greenlee starting to really crank it down. He's got 100 meters left. Sherry has been 154, 155 most of the time. So I think she is uh, crushing it. Alundra, 50 meters left for Alundra. She'll be off in 15 seconds. You got now 50 meters left for Tara. They're gonna come off in a mob, Jack. There's no doubt about it. Get out of the way. Yep. This is gonna be a mass exodus. We got Vivian. Vivian, what a Oh, Vivian coming up first and then the mob. Five of them. Let's keep in mind, Vivian was last off the setup. And now she's definitely not. It could change that quick. Wow, what a strategy. And they're right coming in late on this one. Tara Jackson catching up to Vivian. She's pushing on this. Come on, Jack! Tara, Tara, Tara with a forward lead. Vivian a little bit more upright before right now. No, and then Taylor Williamson and Heather both looking like this is too light a weight for them. Come on, yeah. Jack! But their speed, they don't, they, she's not putting out that speed. No. She is totally looking like she's in conserve mode. One more lap, I believe. 6.55 into the race. What's, what is the women's record, Jeff? Vivian holds the lead. Tara Jackson, they threw down on that farmer's game. Alundra Greenley coming in next. Taylor, we have got predetermined for their location. All right, I'm very curious how Taylor attacks this fight. This was what we think we, she's been waiting for. Jillian Ford coming in. Taylor at 3.45. We want to see Taylor is really hammering down on this. Go ahead, go. Taylor really actually going in a similar place to Tara Jackson. Sherry's a fast man. Nadine Tafudo is putting down. 10 calories left for Vivian who came into the bike first and this is where things can really change. This is where we saw the men's field start to separate itself in the top three. She was doing like 88. She was doing like 85. Vivian's coming off first. Four calories left for Vivian. Three calories left for Vivian. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're going straight across. I think we're going to see Vivian Tafudo come off here first. There's Vivian. She's off her bike. Keep in mind, like we said, Vivian was last on the sit-ups, and now it's going. Watch those. Took her about a minute 35 in that air bike. Tara, second place tie with Sherry. Sherry looks a little gassed, though. Alondra, There's a lot very aggressive into it. I know she has more energy. I'm going to say right now, though, I think Tara will catch Vivian. Vivian's looking good, but Tara's oh, looking she's so faster. On this. That's the specificity. And Vivian, Vivian is fantastic, but I don't think has quite the engine that Tara does at this time. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think Vivian 2023 is going to be absolutely deadly. Yeah. 
It looks like Vivian ha is doing a little extra extension at the top, yeah. and, and while Heather's just kind of letting it fall, like gravity take over at his shoulder. Look at Bridget like Brown. Vivian comes off first. Taylor right behind her. Okay, that was easily. And they're going right to the end. Vivian is not playing around. Along the green, coming. Will she come right down to the end? We saw it yesterday too. Tara has that deceptive burpee style, which is much faster than him. And then Taylor coming in fourth. You got a bomb burner, Dave. That is the way to put it. You got a bomb burner. Tara making up a little bit of ground here. There it is. Let's go, Tara. Let's go, Tara. Let's go, Tara. We got, we got Bubbles here. We got Dylan Scott here. Everybody is in on this. Tara Jackson has pulled ahead slightly. We're talking inches. And Alundra Greenlee is starting to make ground on the top two as well. Tara now starting to just get a little bit of ground. They're going back and forth between a row and a drag. Again, Vivian is just all she's giving everything. You can see it in her face. Alundra pushing hard. Look at Tara Jackson actually pushing faster than Taylor Williamson. What's our time check, Jack? We are at 10.47. 10.47, we are absolutely flying. Tara had the fastest burpees of those three yesterday. She was one second faster than Alondra and nine seconds faster than Vivian on the burpee. And she has not pulled ahead, too. Exactly. So, I think Tara's in the driver's seat. And this is Tara Jackson's style. Save it for the end and push hard. Alondra now almost caught up to Vivian. It's going to be a battle for that second spot right now. Tara almost a half a length ahead. Last one. One more round, one more round. And as well, Taylor Williamson has caught up to Alundra. Now they have both passed Vivian to Fudo now, putting Vivian in the fourth. She was first coming into the sled and is now fourth. And Alundra, oh, but Vivian's pushing harder now. Taylor seems to do better on the pull and Vivian on the push. Come on. Oh, I almost did the rooting mode here. I, I'm very much rooting in this. It's hard to do. 1147, she's off. Yep. Tara Jackson again. Here comes Alundra Greenlee in second place. Vivian Tefruto right behind her. We go past the star line. Look at the back row here. It was great. We are ducking. We are dodging. There's traffic everywhere. We're going to try to stay in the middle and get everybody definitely, in. Uh, Tara is definitely going the fastest tonight. Tara had a good lead going in. Can she maintain it? And Tara's even gone away. She's throwing in so hard, she's gone away from her one Looks step. Like Heather Ruby. White and uh, Taylor Williamson and Sherry. Heather White right made here. a huge ground on that tank. She was last going into the tank. Taylor Williamson, I thought, was going to come off a little bit hotter off that tank. T Tara Jackson is doing a fast little under right now. Look at the burpees on Taylor Williamson here. Those are smooth and those are fast. Ryan, Ryan Corning has. But I think it, for her, it's too little too late. Tara Jackson across Tara. the line. 12.52. 12.52, the battle for second. Vivian to oh, I think Alondra's going to break 13 if she has one more rep. Ah, oh, just missing it. Alondra Greenlee. 11 second gap. Vivian Tafudo hanging on. Oh man. Vivian Tafudo hanging on. Vivian 13 13. There's your podium for the women. There's not the controversy quite on the men's. But what a race. And Tara is all over the ground. Understandably so. Now that was not a record for the women, was it? Taylor, Taylor Williams, Williams did. 13 30. Look at Heather White dive into those burpees. Look at Bridget Brown. Heather White coming across fifth. fifth. I think Bridget Brown's going to be next. Sherry, oh, not oh, Sherry coming across. Here comes Vivian Ford in to start her burpees. Wow, Bridget Did you Brown. See that? Bridget Brown dropped it and it landed vertical <laughs> afterwards. That, I hope you got that on video. Yeah, that's the next YouTube craze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip, flip bottle. Yeah. I love 52. Okay. Dylan has approved. It's okay. Yeah. Big deal. So, Tara Jackson, so far, your DECA Fit World Champion.
your tech a strong world champion. Two yeah. down, is there one to go? Yeah. I agree. By the way, just so everybody knows, somebody predicted that online on some podcast. It might have been me, but I'm not saying for sure. Yeah. Are we going to let the rest of these women finish up? They have put out tremendous efforts. And again, that not a fast course, but that's still an incredibly fast, fast time. There we go. Yeah. And it's amazing how we saw some women in first, then in last, and then up the first day. Like yeah. Vivian at one point was last, then she was first, ends up in third. Yeah. Tara kind of was the one who rode that middle the whole way yep. until it was time to make her move. So we've got Jillian and Jessica Petro. And Jessica Petro, we saw she had those beautiful box step overs. Yeah. You guys are doing a little gun. You're good. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're going to carry 22s down there. Okay. Eight. Eight of them. Jack and I getting thrown into slave labor. I'm going to go do a quick interview with Tara Jackson. There we go, across the line. We're going to go get a quick interview, hopefully with Tara Jackson. All right, sorry, sorry to interrupt here. Can we jump in with, again, your deck is strong. World champion, Tara Jackson. Tara, how are you feeling? Was yesterday a benefit or a hindrance? I went, well, maybe not because I came into it and my legs are super flat. And I'm like, whatever, if I didn't win today, I'm still world champion. So I think it took a lot of the pressure off. We saw you at the beginning leaning on the gate, relaxed, calm, cool, collected. I was ready for you to crack a beer, maybe have a smoke. I didn't know what you were going to do. But did that mindset you think that nonchalant, it really helped out? Yeah, because I didn't have any nerves. And I was like, well, we'll see what my legs can do today. I was like, legit thought I would be the first line, and my leg was just been cramped. <laughs> and I was like, this could be really bad. But then I felt like by the time I got to the skier, I was like in my rhythm. So. Then you really made your move on the, the on the sled. Yeah. Now, when you got there, you were right behind Vivian. Did you think you could catch her on there? You're like, this is mine. I can get Vivian here. I, yeah. Yeah. I'm good on the sled. So. All right, hats off. Get rested up one more. We're gonna see if we can get a quick talk with a Lunder Greenley here. I know when not to interrupt the conversation. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Believe in yourself. Thank you. Well, Andrew, congratulations. Another amazing run. How did it feel out there? It felt really good. Uh, really happy with how that went on the horse. And I asked this of Taryn Austin of you. Did yesterday, do you think it helped you or do you think it hurt you? Neutral. Neutral. Yeah, it's another day. Yesterday's yesterday. Today's today. What a political answer. That is terrible. This is why you're not my doctor. If you were giving me that advice, I'd be like, that's to you. I'm out of here. Forget it. Awesome. Are you ready? Are, are you in the you're in the mile later, right? Are you ready for it? You feeling good? I'm gonna be in ten minutes. I'll be ready. Awesome. Rest up. Congratulations. Oh, doing amazing, guys. Awesome, awesome. awesome job, Andre. All right, Jack. So That's it. We're done. We're well. We're done. This. We got one more to go. You do. You do. Oh yes, Jack. Crash. Everybody wish Jack safe travels. He's heading out. It'll be me solo for the mile, and we're gonna have great excitement. Thank you so much for my half of Jack and I. See you guys. We'll see you guys later this afternoon for Deck a Mile.